Could you explain what you put together? Yeah, so we designed and built our own remote control tank by modifying a Nerf gun. We have an H bridge on the bottom that control the motors. Okay. And then we, since the Nerf gun had a button you'd have to press to rev up the motors, we had to add an electronic relay so that way it would switch on to turn on the gun. And then we have the Bluetooth module to communicate with it over UART in order to send and receive data. And I see a sonar sensor on the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that allows us, so if we see an object in front, we will not run into it. So if I were to move forward, it will stop when it comes too close to something. And we also designed it to where when it's too close to an object, it won't turn left or right, so that way it won't bump into it. It can only go backwards from it. Okay. So that way we wouldn't have to worry about it running into anything. So now I can see you turning it. Turn it. Should turn. And by the way, and you're controlling this from, from uh, yeah app that you put together that communicates over Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And let's get it back around. And we also have buttons on it to control when we want it to shoot. Oh, oh the bullet. bullet stuck in the barrel. So does it, can it also fire, uh, you fire the thing from uh, YouTube or from uh, the sensor? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we wanted to fire against something to make sure it wasn't hurt uh, anything. So that, that suggests that you have a couple power supplies here, right? So yeah, so we have the 9 volt battery which powers the pick. We have two lithium ion batteries which power the motors, and then we have trip, or double A batteries which power the gun. Okay, so okay. There's a lot of power. <laughs> so it, you control the circuit which fires the gun using a switch relay? The switch relay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Which you're able to actuate via this so user interface. If button. you press the one button, you hear that little click, yeah. and then it revs up the motor. Okay. So you bolt. can hear the relay activate, and then you can yeah. hear the... If I tap it quickly, you might be able to... Sure. Oh, you get that little yeah. click. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. One thing we noticed, too, like the Bluetooth, is that if you just tap it, it doesn't like send the turn-off signal. So we just quickly tap the forward button, it'll just keep going until we tap it again. Okay. But if we press and hold, it then moves until we let go. So it sends that start and stop signal back and forth. Very cool. Very cool. So how was the Bluetooth? I get so hard to use it. It was just a wiring and then like trying to understand like what commands we needed to send. So it was able to recognize, okay, if we're sending like the right or the forward command from the forward button, it then does like move the, uh, the, the robot forward depending on which hand we set high and low. And also a little bit of a head scratcher because we need to use like DMA and the uh, UR auxiliary buffer um, to send and receive the characters from the Awesome, well thank you. That's really cool.